So, uh, Mr. Dalal, you came all the way from Mumbai to see the inauguration. Are you fulfilled? Yes, thank you. I enjoyed it. I came all the way from Mumbai. You're right. So, was it expectation being filled? And I mean, what do you think? Yes, I think uh, it's, it's a great uh, thing to be present in person and to see the ceremony is going. Of course, you could see it on the TV. It's not the same as but, going. But outside. you can't feel the crowd in the TV. Yeah, in the TV. That's right. The so crowd has made a big difference, right? Yeah. So, what's your opinion on Obama's speech? Oh yes, he is. He has made it quite. Uh, uh, what should I say? Quite specific as what he wants. Especially the one which he said about terror. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I really appreciate in view of the fact what has happened to Bombay. So you'd be expecting uh, Obama expecting. should live up to his Pakistan policy as promised, to deliver his promise? Yes, I, I, I hope he does it. And I'm sure he would do it, I suppose. But recent experience of India with respect to U.S. on the current Mumbai terrorism, I would say it's not a really a fulfillment from Indian side. I mean, really, some of the, you know, I would say that uh, still what Munmohan Singh said that he has not been that totally satisfied by the U.S. cooperation because they think the U.S. should place more pressure on Pakistan. That's right. That's our expectations. But uh, we, I personally realize that uh, as far as U.S. is concerned, they also want Pakistan to help them fight Taliban, so it's a, it's a cash-22 situation for them. Uh, I just have another question, I mean, you're an investment banker, so yeah. this kind of terrorism, I mean, from May 2008 to December, or say November 2008, we have seen 11 major attacks of terrorism, killing more than 500 people, I and mean, Mumbai is no isolated incident as such. Now, is it affecting Indian investment scenario? I mean, is it a kind of a loss of confidence among the investors because our security is not at best? No, I don't think the corporate sector has at all been affected. It has, the stock market has been affected because of the global meltdown and its trickle-down effect on India. But uh, the terrorism itself has not shaken anybody's confidence and you must have seen Especially as far as Mumbai is concerned, the resilience of Mumbai, within one month, both the Taj and the Opera opened out their doors again. Mm -hmm. And the last time there was a bomb in 1992, the stock exchange did not remain closed even for a day. So you say the Indian market is totally resilient as compared to US market with respect to terrorism? No, I said the Mumbai population are very resilient people and they take it in their stride. But uh, as far as the Indian stock market is concerned, though we are doing better and uh, uh, compared to most of the Western countries, but then we have a trickle-down effect. If the automobile industry in uh, in uh, USA does badly, uh, the automobile auto suppliers, the auto part suppliers from India also will suffer. So you see that if the economy returns to the United States with the Obamas coming into power, what kind of effect you are forcing in Indian stock market? Will it come back to where it belongs? It will come back to normal. At the moment. There is. There were two or three things which went against in the market. One was the oil. Now the oil has come down to very reasonable levels. The second is, of course, the meltdown overseas and the U.S. economy, which had its trickle-down effect. If that it revives in America, it will automatically revive in India. So you are hopeful that with Obama's return to power, that even the stock market will be able to be on the. Well, I don't think Obama coming to power will have an immediate effect on the Bombay stock. I mean, the Indian stock exchange. But if he is able to deliver the goods, as he has promised, and even if he can deliver 50% of what he promised, well, I think I'm, we are in for good times, you know. Do you think that Munmohan or Chidambaram are doing, or right now, well, it's only Munmohan only, I mean, did they do enough for stimulating the Indian market? No, I think Manmohan Singh was the architect of India's... Uh, yeah, but uh, with respect to the present situation of the cri crisis, uh, do you think that, no, I don't that think Chidambaram did enough to pull out, no, to bail out? I don't the think uh, he, did, he could do much, or he did, did not do much, you know. That I agree. But uh, So what will be your suggestion for bailing, from bailing out perspective? I mean, what kind of things the central government can do to bail out? the Indian market. Uh, it's a very complex thing. You can take hours to discuss what uh, could well, happen. Well, just in a nutshell, in one minute, what you like to Yeah, say. right now, the, what government should do really is that should really... They have uh, promised to do that, but they should deliver it in, uh, in as much as the fact that they should be uh, working very strongly on uh, spending on infrastructure and stimulate uh, 
demand in the country. So you think the government should spend more on the infrastructure to stimulate yeah. the demand? Well, the okay. government has already decided to do that, but uh, all that is there, there's a lot of difference between the promise and execution. The execution has to be fast. The delivery has to be fast. I hope so, because the election is coming or else they will... <laughs> and that's important, what's going to happen in the election, and uh, I have a great regards for the Indian electorate. It, well, they, are, it they, are, they are definitely very good. They are better than the politicians. Uh, absolutely right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you.